custom made orthotics for work boots and what are the best work boots to fit a custom made orthotic? Now this is the common question we get asked in the podiatry clinic as we treat a lot of fly and fly out workers, uh, electricians, builders, uh, carpenters and plumbers, all, all, the, all the different trades um, often ask the same question. So there are a few specific features that we look for in a work boot in particular and the rest of the features are just a, a feature of a, a generally good shoe. So the features we look for in any shoe that you're putting on your foot is where does it bend? It should only bend through where your big toe bends. It shouldn't twist too much, so we don't want it to twist too much. The heel counter should be high and firm. Um, and it should be able to be adjusted to your foot. Now that's a very brief, very basic overview of the, the basic features we look for. Uh, and so probably the number one question we get asked is why do my custom orthotics feel different in my running shoes compared to my work boots? Uh, and one of the reasons is the heel pitch. So if in the, this is the Ergonics Elements work boot, um, what we look for is the heel pitch. So the heel pitch is the difference between in height between the heel and the forefoot. Uh, and you can see that this one runs a little bit higher in the heel to the forefoot. And so what we've done is we've matched that up to, to match what the most popular running shoes like the Brooks and Asics runners are, are now running in their heel pitch. So when you fit your custom made orthotics in the, this work boot, it'll actually feel more like a running shoe. The other thing that we've tried to match up to a running shoe is the midsole. So if you can see here, this midsole is actually quite solid but shock absorbing. So it's this is very similar density to like a Brooks running shoe. Uh, so what this does, it helps to cushion your heel at impact so there's not as much force going up through the foot. And it generally just makes the foot a lot more comfortable over the work day. So this will make the, the, the work boot feel a lot more like a running shoe than a work boot. And so the, the feel of your custom made orthotics will be much more like how it feels in your running shoes compared to fitting it in, in another work boot where it might not feel as comfortable. Um, so the other thing we look for is in the work boot, <clears throat> There's a few other things. So this is a, a section of the Ergonomic Elements work, but this is just the black version and it's been cut in half. So the first thing, when we try and fit a custom-made orthotic, we need to make sure, is there enough room for the custom-made orthotic? So we want the boot to be the right size for your foot because if we go too big, then it won't bend in the right spot. So we, where the boot bends, we usually we match this up with your first toe, where your first toe bends. So if we go too big, the bending part of the boot will be too far forward. So we need to get the correct size, but then we, what we've got in the Ergonics Elements work boot is we can remove this insole. And what that does, it may, means that there's enough room for you to take your custom made orthotic insole and drop it straight in because there's enough depth. Now it's deeper through the throat of the shoe. So you'll be able to fit your, your custom made orthotic in here because if we pop the existing liner back in, you'll be able to see that it's already, because our work boots have already got this custom made, sorry, our non-custom orthotic inner sole in there, um, what you can do is replace the arch height with your custom made orthotic and it'll feel like it's meant to be like there's enough room in the shoe. So the first thing is we look for, is there enough room? Second thing, if we look at this board section here, see where all the writing is, the red ergonics writing is across the boot. Um, we need to make sure that this is flat um, so all of our arch contour and work comes from our orthotic inner sole in the boot. Uh, but then we want the actual board underneath there to be flat. Now the reason for this is when your podiatrist makes a custom made orthotic, they'll measure your feet and often do a, a 3D scan. Like you can see our scanner over my shoulder. That's a 3D scanner right there. And that'll measure uh, your foot accurately to within a fraction of a millimetre. So then what your podiatrist will do, they'll go and take your, the scan of your foot and mill out your orthotics and roll your foot out or roll your foot in or support it or give it a heel raise um, to exactly what you need. So then if we go and fit that inside a boot, we want the base that that's sitting on to be flat so it won't either overcorrect your foot or undercorrect your foot. Um, it's a common misconception that when we make a custom-made orthotic, this will do the work of, of the shoe, and that, that's incorrect. We need to use a custom-made orthotic with the best possible work shoe that we've got. So 
you get the best correction and then we still we know where we're starting from we so ideally we want to start from a zero base and then your podiatrist can move your foot up or down depending on what they've measured specifically for your condition and that's the benefit of a custom-made orthotic you get your foot measured and they can actually make the orthotic to fit in the shoe and specifically for your condition much in the same way that you would um, reading glasses they make a prescription just for your eyes and just for your left and right eye might be a little bit different the left and right foot might be a little bit different as well um, so the other thing we look for is is the heel seat where your orthotic actually sits is it wide enough um, and because what we want to do is we want to have enough of the room for the custom-made orthotic to sit under your heel whereas we don't want actually that to push up on the side of the shoe and, and overcorrect your foot so again it comes back to starting with a level base in the, in the shoe to help to support the foot rather than overcorrect the foot um, and the other thing we look for is once we put in a custom orthotic into a shoe if we have a look here you can see that often often we get a problem with um, slipping so people start to say oh my heel slips a little bit now once I've changed the heel height so what the ergonics elements work boots have got is I've got this padded section in the heel so if you look down here it comes down here and then it stops and makes this little cavity here for your heel to sit in now what that does is as your foot tries to slip up it's like you've got a heel grip already made into the shoe and it's maybe this nice soft foam so it's it's very comfortable and it will just sort of stop the heel from slipping up and and keep your foot nice and locked in position so when you add that with a custom made orthotic in our work boots with this heel grip uh the flat insole the all the features of the good shoe like where does it bend it's not too hard not too soft it's got this nice midsole and a heel pitch and the other thing in relation to the heel pitch quite often what we feel is when we make a custom made orthotic we'll get a little bit too much pressure right in towards the back of the heel seat uh, it's in the sustenticulum talli area um, so by adding matching the heel seat up to the uh, the common running shoes we don't need to adjust the, the posting elevator as much to fit into the shoes so it'll feel more comfortable in more shoes um, like it, it'll, you'll be able to switch it from your running shoes to your work boots with no problems um, so that is very briefly what we look for in a work boot so this has been the ergonics elements work boot um, it's got all the features that we look for and we regularly use them in the podiatry clinic we've been testing these for two years now uh, and they're they've really we're very very happy with what we've come up with if you have any questions or comments please don't hesitate to ask and we look forward to hearing from you Thanks.